I've got some cool new features to show you guys with UMod, and I've had a lot of fun both playing and creating these features. I'm honestly kind of excited about them, but before we jump into that, we got a lot of ideas and comments in the last video of things that you guys want to see added to UMod. We're going to add all of these things. I took note of every comment, every suggestion, and the person who left them, and you guys are literally the designers of this game, and I'm just kind of putting it together. So if you got more ideas, put it in the comments, and I will take it from the comment section and put it in the to-do list. And it might not be today, might not be tomorrow, it might not be next week, but it will eventually get added and you'll see your ideas in game. So by far the most popular suggestion was the tool gun from Gary's Mod, scaling, inflating, snapping, colors, etc. The second most popular suggestion also happens to be the most difficult to create, but fortunately it is something that I have experience with, so I'm totally confident that we can get it done and that feature is multiplayer networking. And the most creative suggestion, which I highly appreciate, is a cheeseburger with a leg. This was suggested by Jacob Does Life. I love your idea, a cheeseburger with leg. We're gonna get this added for sure. This dev blog strikes two things off the to-do list. GM Construct by, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, and Import a Map by the D-Man 131. Import a Map is kind of broad. I do wanna do a little more playing around with Import a Map. I wanna import maps from other games. So this is sort of gonna stay on the to-do list, but sort of in a different category. All right, let's take a look at these new features. If you've played Gary's Mod, you already know what this map is. It is GM Construct, and as you can see, we are inside Unity Engine, and it's exactly the same. This was accomplished by creating a BSP loader, not by manually converting the file. I've integrated Unity's real-time lighting so we can actually change the angle of the sun here, get a totally different look. You can even make it nighttime if you change the angle of the sun enough. It is pitch blackout. I created these ball of light props so we can explore nighttime maps. Just think of the gameplay possibilities here. And when you are ready for it to be daytime again, boom, nice and easy. And there's a nice auto exposure effect that fades into the light. Your eyes adjust and it just simply looks good. This will load any map from Gary's Mod, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress 2, pretty much any Source Engine map, and it'll load it right up and simply just work. Of course, it needs a little bit of polishing. It needs to be able to load models and convert entities and all that good stuff. The next thing I want to share is the Inspector menu. So I'm going to spawn a cube here, and I'm going to open up the Inspector menu. We can find our cube on the left, which is this guy right here, and we can change pretty much anything that has to do with this cube. What we're going to do is change the scale of this cube to be the same size as that cube over there, which is 4, 4, and 4. As you can see, it works quite nice. The inspector menu gives you access to everything that's in the map. As you can see over here, we have GM Construct. This is literally the map itself. So if you want to make it tiny, we can go 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Whoops, I fell through the map. And you can see that Construct is now Mini Construct, which is kind of cool, to be honest. This is freaking sweet. Say I want to change the color of the sun to be red, and now we have not only mini construct, but mini construct in hell. That wraps up this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. Leave your ideas in the comments. Let me know what you guys think as well. The source code to this project is open source and the link is in the description. So check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your ideas. I'll see you in the next one.